Hey guys, this is Mr. Saints Godzilla 21. And today we'll be looking at five glitches on Grand Theft Auto 5. The first glitch we'll be looking at is a wall breach at the strip club. All you need to do is park any vehicle in this corner and climb on top of it. Now start spamming the jump button in the far left corner and you should climb through the wall. If you jump down, a message will pop up saying you're not allowed in this room without a stripper. If you play on the next gen consoles or PC, go in the first person and you'll be allowed to see your surroundings. This glitch might seem pointless, but it does have a few purposes. If you're playing in a mission, you can use this glitch to escape the cops, or if you walk along the wall rather than jump in, you can get on top of the strip club. The last thing this glitch lets you do is punch while you're inside. This can be helpful if you're trying to film a video, or if you're not satisfied with the lap dance and want to teach that hoe a lesson. For the next glitch, you're going to need a prison bus. You can either buy one off the Warstock website or play through the beginning half of the mission bust out. When you have the prison bus, head to this location near Trevor's house. Once you're here, simply park the bus in front of these two garage doors and climb on the hood. If done right, this will send your player flying each time he does it. Each time has a different result, but what makes this glitch different from the rest is that your guy will do a twirling effect as he flies through the air. Overall, it's a fun glitch and I recommend trying it with your friends. Next is another wall breach glitch. Head to this location and climb up the left side of this gate. From here, slowly walk forward until you reach the front of this window. Now quickly press the jump button and you should crawl through the building. This spot works great if you're trying to get rid of the cops and there's quite a few gaps where you can shoot players outside. If you want to get out, all you need to do is jump in the same window you came in. This next glitch will allow you to get inside Michael's house on GTA Online. Head to the back and place your character along this wall. Make sure he's facing towards the door and go to your jobs menu and select the adversary mission called Sumo 2. Now all you need to do is wait until the lobby loads and back out. If done correctly, you'll appear inside the house. Now you can freely explore, except there's no way of getting out unless you kill yourself. I recommend getting a bounty and watch how confused players get when they find you inside the house. For the last glitch we'll be looking at, you'll need a friend and a titan. Now either you or your friend needs to stand next to the titan where the steps open and melee hit the person going in. This will cause the player to fall through the bottom of the titan and be able to get in the back. This is currently the only known way to get in the back of the Titan without damaging it from the outside. It's quite strange that Rockstar hasn't added an update yet to make the back easier to open rather than players having to do it themselves. Well guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you don't run into any problems trying these glitches. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Um, hi, I've been uh, wondering if I can ask you um, um, uh, uh, if I say true or die. Oh god, I messed up.